And we're gonna start the Mount Adams fire tower hike. Haven't been out here in a couple of years, so see what the trail's like. Sign in and be on our way. All right, nice easy start to the trail. Perfect day out, nice and cool. Okay, coming up on the bridge. Let's see what kind of condition this is in. Last time I was across here, it was pretty rickety, tore up from some storms. Always beautiful along here though. The mighty Hudson River. That's closer to the beginning of it though. And it's bouncing. They're doing some work here. That's good. Okay, the original trail. Go down this way. Over and across Lake Jimmy here. There used to be a floating log bridge. You can see some remnants from quite a while ago. There it is right there. Still floating around over there. Way down at the end. Try and zoom in there. It kind of got washed over there, I believe, by Hurricane Irene back in 2011. Came through and flooded this whole area out, so. They went back to Wilderness, just let it be. Really beautiful out here, man. We'll see a moose or something. Who knows? Okay, instead of going the original way from years ago, trail is, uh, Takes off to the left here before you get to the lake there. Kind of follow it through the worn uh, roots and path that's here. And we'll uh, take this around the lake this time and catch up on the other side. In a little bit closer view of the old bridge. There it is. All washed up and there it'll remain. All right, going around the lake. It's a little tight in here, muddy. But easy to follow. Okay, coming up to the intersection where down there used to be where the bridge came across. Blocked off. And we'll keep going this way. Still an easy part of the trail. Not actually hiking up the mountain yet. Not a bad trail, but some muddy spots. Such as this. What a mucky mess. I see some rocks here. I'll tiptoe across. Hopefully not slip. so bad. It's gonna get muddy no matter what. Okay we're about a mile in and coming up on the old fire tower caretaker's cabin. Which is over here and then we'll go that way. Just a little bit before we turn off toward the fire tower. It's a little creepy. But 
The whole place is still standing. A little shelter for kitchen emergency. Need that somebody used to live here for months during the fire season, 100 years ago or so, 120 years ago. I go to that fire tower every day. Okay, just past the caretaker house, about a tenth of a mile. There's the uh, trail split off. Take that way to go to Allen Mountain and other places out that way. So a post here, it used to be a sign, not sure where it is now, but take off to the left. And uh, here shortly will be uh, where we really start getting some elevation. Start putting the work in. All right, starting to get some elevation here. Doing a little work. Going a little slower. Uh, about 45 minutes in, take a little break, a little snack, gotta stay hydrated. Whew, getting steeper and steeper up here, but uh, doing pretty good, great day. Still cool in these woods. You know, weather channels say it's hot, humid, it's still humid, but it's a lot nicer up in these woods than it is down lower. Whew. So, taking our video here in a little bit. And, See how it goes. The rest of our trail coming up here. I'm gonna wind up around there and up around that way and who knows how much steeper it gets. We'll see. Wet rocks, lots of fun. Not the smoothest trail in places, but not many of them are up here. Slow going. I'm pretty good. Slowly but surely. Then rope tied my camera here, so in case it gets loose from my stick here. Still got it. Learned that lesson pretty quick a few years ago. Here's a nice slab coming up. All right, I'm gonna climb up this and hope my shoes will stick to this wet rock. Slow and steady.
Interesting hike though. This is a fun one. Especially one handed. I'll say my Adidas shoes work pretty good. A little plug for Adidas here. Really comfortable. Great traction. <sighs> Got me up this, so I'll definitely buy another pair. Watch out for these parts of the trail. Got a big tree leaning over. Trying to step where you need to, you'll bang your head right into one of those if you're not careful. I missed it, luckily. Barely. More steep slab here. I think we're coming up on the summit pretty soon though. Sign said 2.3 miles and uh, I watched this 2.25. Of course, well, we'll see, because every measurement you see in any book or map or sign, it's always a little different. Bear crawl up here. <clears throat> uh, two point three one on my watch. Might have been a little bit off. All right, came around the corner, going up, up, up. Pretty steep up here. Thinking I was uh, pretty close to the summit, but come around the corner and see this long stretch ahead of me still, and who knows what beyond that, but gotta be getting close. Uh, feels great to get out here too. Getting up there, gotta be getting close to the summit. Been about another 45 minutes, so I'm at hour 30 right now into the hike gonna be close gonna get another drink here real quick just take a little breather and uh next shot up at the summit Whew. last push to the summit here not the longest hike but it's no joke it does get pretty steep up here pretty consistently steep And here's another corner and it gets even steeper. So don't count on getting to the summit until you're actually there. <laughs> Just never know. Alright, made it to the tower. Cruise on up there. Get some views. And of course, after a little 
50 yard stretch of nice even trail. We get all these steps to go up. Pretty cool how they've done it up. Nice breeze up here. fire tower Whew. hour and 48 minutes 2.65 miles yep tower all to myself grab some uh, lunch and a drink my lunch being a cliff bar or something Whew. but on the way back I'll grab some real food Spent a few minutes up here just enjoying this nice breeze and the views. There is a <clears throat> mountain over there. Alan Mountain from the fire tower. A skylight. RC back there. Oh. Redfield Cliff. How cold in Gonquin. Iroquois there. Get some great views from this fire tower. That's the way we came in there. Road winds down through here. Still got some mining going on over there. We got the Santonis. Further back, the seabirds. So yeah, it's worth the effort up here. Got some great views. Got the tower all to myself. And some other time tells about the fire tower and the fires. Pretty cool stuff. Come here and read it for yourself. Cabin. About one mile to go.
3 hours 15 minutes, 5.38 miles. <clears throat> Not too shabby. Great hike. Great day. <clears throat>